So Boris Johnson is planning a trip to the Ukraine to hasten diplomatic efforts to avoid war. We have, of course, seen Johnson's diplomacy before. And if Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe's extended plight in Iran is anything to go by, then he's likely to start World War III. But with Sue Gray's report being held up perniciously by the Met Police without any valid reason in law, and have instead, in fact, obstructed MPs in their ability to hold the government to account, if the words of Lord Sumption this morning are anything to go by, the timing of this trip seems oddly suspicious. Remember when he ran away to Afghanistan to avoid that boat on Heathrow's third runway? Thought he said he'd lie in front of bulldozers to prevent. He ran away then in order to actually save himself from having to resign as foreign secretary by voting for it on a three-line whip. And he's running away from the Sue Gray report in all likelihood here. Can anyone tell me the Ukrainian for hiding in a fridge? The facts are that Russia, although they've assembled troops on their borders, are all fully within their borders. It's their land, their country, they can station troops where they like. And even Ukrainian officials are stating there are not enough troops there to mount an invasion. The very people who face invasion are saying there's not enough capability on the ground there at this moment in time to mount an assault on their country. So why is there so much in the news about this? Border tensions around the world happen all the time. Russia has moved troops to its borders because the UK and US have troops stationed in Ukraine. And of course, it is media and officials in these countries saying that Russia moving troops to its border is escalating tensions. In 2014, there was a coup in Ukraine which removed its then government. And the US under the Obama and Biden administration were heavily involved in that. It triggered the Russia-Ukrainian war that followed, which saw Crimea annexed by Russia and a new government taking over in Ukraine consisting of neo-Nazis. Here's some images. Disturbing, I grant you, but in case you don't believe me, but all too familiar to you, I'm sure. The chap holding the gun is interesting. That's a Ukrainian Azov battalion militiaman holding a Tabor rifle, produced under license only with the authorization of the Israeli government. So Israel is literally arming anti-Semitic neo-Nazis. So Mr. Zionist with that qualification, Keir Starmer supporting Ukraine and attacking Putin in Parliament is actually taking the side of not just Israel's apparent arms contract, not that that would surprise anybody, but is siding with anti-Semites against Russia too. Purge yourself from the Labour Party anytime you feel like it, Keith. The fact is the US, UK, Israel and others are ramping up hostilities and rhetoric, yet are calling it diplomacy. Johnson is just running away from his woes at home. They all accuse Putin as being the aggressor, yet he's the only one staying in his own territory.